This strange creature was found on a farm in Mexico. Its body has characteristics of both lizards and humans. Its whole body, like it doesn't even look like something I've ever seen. Farmers also reported seeing a second creature flee the scene. Yeah, so there's aliens now, there's monkeypox. What about Wolfman? The footage and photos show what looks like the skeletal remains of some creature. That it is not of this world. It does sort of have the head shape that a gray alien might have. Be it strange looking creatures roaming around, otherworldly carcasses, or a million dollar surprise, no one can tell what hides just beneath the fertilized lands of our planet. So come along to take a look at these weird things this farmer unknowingly discovered under his cornfield. In the woods near Chichibu City, Japan, a student stumbled upon a bizarre sight during a hike in January 2019. Hidden among the trees were skeletal remains unlike any known animal. Twisted talons, a bent spine, and a square-shaped head with rows of humanoid teeth. Excited by his find, he shared the footage online, sparking wild theories about its origins. Some believed it was an extraterrestrial, while others thought it was a mutant from nearby nuclear fallout. During all the skepticism, experts pointed out how none of the theories seemed reliable, and many even questioned the creature's authenticity, and their doubts were confirmed when the student admitted it was a model he prepared for his art studies. <laughs> Baby alien. The being is not known to exist on Earth. Its body has characteristics of both lizards and humans. Ever since the Mexican Congress revealed the alien carcass, there have been all kinds of sightings. But this clip showed how Mexico has a history of alien encounters long before the recent stir. Back in 2008, a strange corpse was discovered on a farm in Mexico, causing fear in the farmer who found it. With its human-like skeleton, fetal position, and odd size, it was something never seen before. He quickly handed over his discovery to the experts, and they conducted DNA tests and scans on the corpse, which revealed that it possessed characteristics that were not known to exist on Earth, showing traits resembling both lizards and humans along with a notably large brain, suggesting potential high intelligence. There are frequent UFO sightings and reports of crop circles in the area, leading to the suspicion that the being was left behind by aliens. Scientists even speculated extraterrestrial origins, as the area had a history of frequent UFO sightings and reports of crop circles. Tall Carcass I don't know, but it's pretty pretty weird looking, isn't it? An eerie discovery unfolded on a Gulf Island beach when a group of friends was out on a stroll. They came across a life form leaning against the stone wall. Its alien-like features sent shivers down the onlooker's spines. The tall stature and incomparable features inspired speculations of it having an extraterrestrial origin. One of the women stepped up to take a closer look and poked it with a wooden log but remained still, probably because it was lifeless. Oh my god, it looks really strange, doesn't it? One of them compared it to the monster from the 1987 sci-fi movie Predator. With no satisfactory explanation of the entity's origin in sight, they decided to leave the entity behind where they had found it and went ahead with their journey. Mystery Creature it's a picture causing internet skeptics to squint and ask, what is it? A couple of years back in Titusville, Florida, a woman stumbled upon a strange sight in her backyard, a mysterious entity just lying on the ground. It looked like a rotting corpse due to all of its dark, hollowed out skin. Its odd features with a long tail and big jaws left her baffled, and the strong smell it emitted unnerved her even more. Its whole body, like it doesn't even look like something I've ever seen. Seeking answers, she turned to social media and unintentionally sparked a frenzy of guesses from people all over the world. Many said it might be an alien, while a wildlife expert said it was probably a deceased possum that somehow ended up there. Despite the guesses flooding in, 
its identity remained a puzzle. Cornfield Visitor What is it doing? A farmer from northern United States was facing disturbances in his cornfield, so he decided to investigate at night. Equipped with a flashlight and camera, he went around his farm and noticed something hiding behind the long stems. The entity looked straight out of an alien movie with snatched eyes and a short figure. The being just stood there and then realized it was being filmed and disappeared again behind bushes. The guy believed there was more than one in the field. Oh, jeez! But it never revealed itself completely, only offering glimpses. Feared by its unknown intentions, the guy oh, ran goodness. to save his life. Was it really an alien descended from outer space, or just a precisely curated prank? The truth behind the sighting was never uncovered. Electrocuted Alien a man who claimed to have electrocuted an alien and stored its body in his freezer. In a small village by China's Yellow River, a farmer named Lee sparked a frenzy, claiming to have trapped an alien using an electric fence meant for rabbits. He even presented photos of the supposed creature stored in his freezer, which spread like wildfire online. This entire story seemed too simple to be real. And the truth came out when authorities investigated, and the guy confessed that the whole alien story was a hoax that he made from wire ropes and glue, inspired by a movie. And you might assume his goal was simply to make people believe in aliens. So what was his goal? Simply to make people believe in aliens. We want to expand our group and make more people believe that aliens do exist. Now, that was really a strange way to initiate an alien conspiracy. But that alien dummy was pretty great, though. Extraterrestrial Remains In 2015, while exploring the woods near his home, a man stumbled upon something that left him utterly baffled. With just a flashlight and camera in hand, he noticed a strange sight. A small, green figure with hollow eyes and two tiny holes for nose. It looked like the miniature version of a textbook alien, nestled among dry flower petals near a lone rose plant. Unsure about what to make of it, he left it untouched and hurried away. The mystery still roamed his mind as to what he had encountered in the woods that day. Deceased Chupacabra In the remote Ukrainian village of Hutsul, a farmer claimed to have discovered a chupacabra. With ears, muzzle, and hair reminiscent of a fox, it was a perplexing mix of familiar and foreign traits. He was sure he had encountered the blood-sucking beast, so to protect his barn and himself, he terminated it with a pitchfork. Later, the farmer brought the creature to the experts and waited for their opinion, but no one seemed to confirm its identity. But it also seemed strange as to why these mythical beings would emerge out of nowhere now. But the answer to that question remained elusive. Mystery Creature Decades back, a terrifying mystery unfolded before the eyes of residents of Puerto Rico, where dozens of animals were found lifeless, many with no blood in their bodies, which confused the farmers. Residents heard bizarre howling sounds, and they also found strange footprints that didn't seem to resemble any animal known in the region. All these clues pointed to the existence of a harrowing predator, and the locals named it Chupacabra, Spanish for goat sucker, as its victims were mainly goats. It remained an enigma that stumped both farmers and police alike. It's the same critter now famous as an urban legend, and the mystery persists to this day, as no one's been able to get a good look at the real thing. Ancient Human Remains After a thorough search, a total of 153 pounds of human bones were recovered from the field. 
A remarkable discovery took place in muddy farmland in western Finland, where the farmer found nearly 100 ancient human remains. Bones found in the region date back to between the 4th to 9th centuries, probably from the early Iron Age, predating the Vikings. They also observed unusual burial practices, with bones, mainly of women and children, arranged in a jumbled way. In the mud, they find bones, and multiple human remains submerged in their lush field. The archaeologists working on the site suggested a ritualistic burial ground related to ancient Nordic practices. DNA analysis revealed a connection to the Sami people, indigenous to northern Scandinavia, showing migration patterns and religious beliefs in the region. It's fascinating to see how we can tell so much about a group of people just from a bunch of bones. Werewolf. This is really... Is that her? Uh. Hey, ah! A woman set out alone into the thick woods, determined to find her missing dog, Macy. Ignoring the dangers lurking at the late hour, she ventured ahead. When she called out for her dog, Come on, Macy! Suddenly, she heard a faint whimper. Following the sound deeper into the woods, she came face to face with a startling sight. A large, wolf-like creature, with its jaws gaping open, showing its sharp teeth. Shaken to the bone, she turned and sprinted back to safety. Hey, ah! <laughs> and fortunately, remained unharmed, leaving behind a mystery. Was it a wolf? But wolves aren't supposed to be bipedal, are they? So, was it a renowned werewolf? <laughs> Treasure Trove In April 2021, while the realtor was fixing up some land in India to build houses, he found something totally unexpected. Smoothing out the ground, his shovel hit something hard. He curiously dug deeper and found a big clay pot filled with ancient jewelry. There were shiny silver pieces weighing as much as a small dog, sparkly gold gems, and even some precious rubies. People thought these treasures might have been used to decorate statues of gods long ago and buried for safekeeping. But when the realtor told the authorities about his amazing find, he discovered that it was illegal for him to keep any of it. <laughs> they took charge of everything and wouldn't let him do any more work on the land until they said so. Can you imagine finding a treasure and then having to give it all away? Poor guy lost the treasure and his job as well. <laughs> ancient skull. The discovery of an ancient skull has revealed clues that could shake up the accepted theories of human evolution. In the former Soviet Republic of Georgia, scientists stumbled upon a thrilling find, a prehistoric, perfectly complete skull. They found that it belonged to a male with a jutting jaw and a brain case less than half the size of a human today, and it dated back an incredible 1.8 million years. Not only that, excavators also found four other partial skulls dating from the same time, but all had variations from each other. And scientists believe it's the same kind of variations found among modern humans. Could this be a clue to an entire ancient human-like species? A discovery of this kind could rewrite the history books. Scientists are now on a mission to unravel the mysteries held within the ancient cranium. Farmer found millions. Well, we've seen farmers unearth treasures and diamonds, and you'd think there'd be nothing better to find. However, I believe this Colombian farmer took the cake for the best discovery made by a farmer. It all happened when he stumbled upon an unexpected barrel while digging on his property. Expecting to find a body in there, he wasn't ready for an astonishing sum of money. He found a staggering total of $600 million! And to put the cherry on top, this discovery was allegedly linked to the notorious Pablo Escobar, infamous for stashing wealth across Colombia and beyond. The origin of this fortune sparked debate, but since it was seized by the Colombian government, unfortunately, the poor farmer couldn't get anything. Mammoth. Finally tonight, a farmer who just would not give up, digging in his field in Michigan when, turns out, he found a window back to the Ice Age. In a Michigan soybean field, farmer James Bristle stumbled upon something unexpected, the bones of a woolly mammoth. 
It was an adult male, probably in its 40s at the time of its death, probably lived between 10,000 and 15,000 years ago. Initially mistaking them for a fence post, he soon realized the significance of his find. Scientists from the University of Michigan estimated the mammoth lived thousands of years ago and offered a glimpse into the prehistoric life of the region. They speculated that humans may have hunted these mammoths and buried the remaining animal for preservation purposes, as refrigerators weren't really a thing back then. For now, they remained a captivating curiosity in a building on Bristles Farm, while people talked about potentially showcasing them in a museum. We're hoping that it's going to end up in a museum. Diamond Discovery an Indian farmer from Kurnool, G. Yiragudi, hit the ultimate jackpot when he found a diamond on his farm. Yes, you heard that right, a diamond! While working on his farm for the monsoon crops, he found a stone that was shining as sun rays fell on it. He took the stone out of the soil and contacted local jewelers, who told him that it was a costly diamond. It was like a huge celebration for the poor farmer. He decided to auction off the precious stone stone, and it sold for a 1 million Indian rupees. Imagine the joy of the poor man. He surely deserved it. The place has a history of diamonds popping up, which also made other diamond enthusiasts try their luck to excavate precious shiny stones. Spill the proboscis. A fisherman caught this worm off the coast of Thailand. And see how, quite literally, it spilled its guts. Well, not its guts, but their proboscis. And it might not look real to you, but let me tell you, it very much is. They are a marine animal called proboscis worm or ribbon worms. They eject their branching proboscis to deter their predators. And it works like a charm, because I'm successfully deterred and I'll be going nowhere near that thing. But why is it not pulling its proboscis back, I hear you ask? Well, it's because outside of the water, the mucus sticks to the hand. But don't worry, as they are able to regenerate that sticky proboscis. Alien look-alike. <laughs> this guy had been hearing strange noises from inside his roof, and when he investigated, he found the strangest thing hiding there. A pair of tiny bipedal creatures standing side by side. The sight in front of his eyes shocked him. It looked like a couple of juvenile aliens had taken shelter in the man's house. But don't let your imagination run wild. They are actually baby owls. Yep, just a bunch of owlets who found their way inside the house. <laughs> And they are perfectly fine. The baby owls have very less fur at this stage as compared to their parents, and it will take a couple of months for them to completely fledge. Mutant goat. भारत के गांव में एक ऐसा बकरा देखा गया जिसकी शकल खूबहू इंसानों से मिलती है। This mutant goat, born in a small Indian village, has caused quite the stir. With facial features eerily similar to a human's, the goat's appearance left the entire village in disbelief. Videos of the unusual deformity quickly went viral on social media, drawing attention from around the world. Instead of a typical snout, the goat's lips formed a pout, its nose strange, and a head that appeared round, giving it an uncanny human-like appearance. Netizens couldn't help but feel a mixture of curiosity and unease, but it's said that unhealthy environmental conditions could be the cause of the bizarre mutation. Snake Sheds Isn't that creepy? That is very creepy. Creep Deep within the dense forest of Africa, an extraordinary sight captured the attention of this explorer. These rigid white logs lying in plain sight are snake skin sheds that you wouldn't be able to ignore even if you wanted to. These sheds started from one side and went all the way to the other, with an estimated size of about 70 feet or 21 meters. It might belong to the biggest snake ever. I don't know, but it's pretty, pretty weird looking, isn't it? These reptiles are known to get rid of their skin to cope with parasites that grow. Speechless by its sheer size, the man just stood there and tried to make sense of what he'd seen. What are you even supposed to do when you see proof of possibly the biggest snake ever? Garden Dweller 
This guy from Indonesia found something strange in his backyard. A brown worm crawling on his floor. What was even more unusual about this one was that it had a horn-like structure on its head, covered in tiny nubs, and the nubs covered its mouth as well. Many people tried to name the oddity. Some said that it was a caterpillar or a cocoon, but they don't usually have a horn. Others also thought that it might be some unidentified species. Was it just some mutated worm or a new species entirely? The mystery was soon cleared up when someone came up with a more clear claim, saying it was a horn worm. Their characteristic being the horn on their head. Feeding on vegetable leaves, they live near plants until they transform into a moth. Human calf. An Argentinian farmer from a rural region, Via Ana, was shocked when his pregnant cow gave birth to a deformed calf with a human-like face. A local filmed a clip of the mutant animal that left people puzzled, trying to figure out the reason. The calf was born with a small nose and mouth and struggled to hold up its head. It had a malformed skull and wasn't able to survive for more than a couple of hours after birth. Later, a genetics expert told the local media that the animal had a rare genetic mutation that messed with its DNA sequencing and was probably caused by the action of mutagens in the surrounding environment. Geep. This farmer and his family from North Scottsdale, Arizona were not prepared for a new arrival in their cattle. We were not even aware that she was pregnant because we don't have a male. <laughs> they had given birth to a baby, but there was something odd about it. Upon inspection, they found that it was not a baby sheep, but a geep, a hybrid between a goat and a sheep. The birth became a double surprise for the family. That's the baby geep right there. Its mother was a sheep, and its father was a pygmy goat. It had a head and hooves like its dad, and fur-covered body like its mom. The little one got the best of both worlds. It was later revealed that these geeps are fairly common on farms where both these animals are in close vicinity. Giant Python This giant reticulated python, known for its sheer size, was captured in an Indian village. The serpent invaded a farmer's cattle shed and was caught devouring a cow and the proof of its feast was evident by the giant bulge in its belly. So to keep the snake away from the rest of his cattle and get it off his property, the farmer lassoed the giant to one of the pillars of the shed. See its neck tied down with a rope. And it struggled to get free from confinement. It tried hard, but was unsuccessful. A predator this size could make anyone fearful, but hats off to the farmer who tied it down. Conjoined Calf In the quiet region of Sargoda, Pakistan, something extraordinary happened. A farmer's buffalo gave birth to twin calves with two heads and six legs. The twins had separate bodies but were conjoined. News spread like wildfire, and soon these unusual calves became a local sensation with people visiting from all over the city. Speculations were raised, with some folks saying it was a sign of bad luck or even black magic, but the local vet said it was a completely natural occurrence, even though he'd never seen anything like it before. The calves needed extra help to stand, so their owner bottle-fed them milk himself. The landlord got numerous offers to sell the calves, but he held on to them, until finally agreeing to let them go to someone who would care for them properly. Mammoth leg bone. Look at that right there. There's a big leg bone. This guy went out on a forest expedition wanting to hit a new discovery when he noticed something giant lying among the rocks. When he went in to inspect it closely, he found that it was a giant bone. The guy said that it looked like a mammoth's leg bone due to its huge size, which had been lying there for a long time, judging by the way it looked worn. It'll go from your shoulder to your tip of your, tip of your fingers. The bone had some weird blue stuff on it and had a powdery texture that was probably another indication that it was pretty old. 
Not sure what to do with it, he left the bone there and left. Byzantine-era mosaic. Et certainement le plus beau pavement jamais trouvé à Gaza. En tout cas, dans un état de conservation. In a remarkable twist of fate, a Palestinian farmer in the Gaza Strip stumbled upon an extraordinary piece of history buried beneath his land while planting an olive tree. As he moved away the soil, his shovel unearthed something unexpected: a pristine Byzantine-era mosaic. Its interesting patterns and vibrant colors captivated the onlookers, and it was considered as one of the most exquisite pavements ever discovered in. Gaza. Its remarkable state of preservation left experts in awe. The one-of-a-kind floor dates back to a time between the 5th and 7th centuries. As archaeologists meticulously examine the mosaic, each tile testifying to the Byzantine period, increasing the importance of Gaza's ancient history. Hibernating Bear <laughs> Why do I see my struggle to wake up in the morning in this bear? This camera captured a black bear waking up from hibernation at Glacier National Park, USA, which made rounds on the internet. The toes came out first, followed by stretched legs, and then finally, the bear himself made an appearance. These bears can remain stationary for a long period of time without feeding or eliminating waste. They usually hibernate from October to March. That's almost half a year, and they come out all ready to fulfill fill their hunger. Trapdoor spider. Oh, 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 my god, oh, oh my god, shit. oh my god, it's right there, it's underneath. He's not camera shy at all. I think that's how all the spider-phobic people would like the spiders of the world, concealed and hidden, out of sight, out of mind. But these spiders live this solitary life by choice. They are known as trapdoor spiders. They dig up burrows in the ground and make a door with soil, bushes, and silk for their home as well. Quite pretentious. And this guy here seemed to have found a trapdoor spider's den. As soon as the door opened, the spider jumped up to defend itself. Oh, oh, my oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's right there, it's underneath. And while the rushing pitch black spider might look very dangerous, and it does have venom, it's non-toxic for humans, only enough for them to take down their prey. I can't see. Is it there? <laughs> no, he's going back. Cannonball. I had no idea this was in there. I, you couldn't see it. You couldn't see a hole in the log. A tall walnut tree in Independence, Missouri had been a landmark for years. But when it was time for the old giant to come down, something surprising emerged. A Civil War era cannonball. The 100 foot tall tree had been hiding the relic for years. The ball was barely the size of a handful. The unusual find made everyone thrilled about its origin. And the ball was believed to have been shot by Union soldiers. Such discoveries really make you wonder what other secrets might be hiding in plain sight around town. So the Confederates snuck in from two different routes and surprised them, woke them up by gunfire, charged down the hill. And while the Union troops were in disarray, we think that they had plenty of time to fire off some cannon shots. World's Tallest Cow now, let's meet Blossom, the world's tallest cow on record, who soared to a staggering height of six feet two inches and towered over the average cow by over a foot. She was even officially confirmed as the world's tallest cow in the Guinness Book of World Records, which solidified her place in agricultural history. Blossom's extraordinary size garnered worldwide attention, but tragically, her journey came to an untimely end in 2015, caused by a severe leg injury from which she couldn't recover. Her passing marked the end of an era, but her legacy as the tallest cow ever recorded indoors, serving as proof of the awe-inspiring diversity found within the animal kingdom. Dragon Chicken have you ever seen dragon chicken? Well, let's have a look now. Grown specifically in Vietnam, this breed of chicken has legs as thick as a brick. But don't get grossed out just yet, as they can cost up to a whopping $2,000 a head. And are a famous delicacy among the wealthy during Lunar New Year. The longer the chicken is raised, the larger and meatier its legs become due to increased collagen and muscle development. They are highly valued for their taste and cultural significance. So, would you like a taste of this dragon chicken? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Being on the topic of chicken, also take a look at this giant rooster, which looked very much like an adult cat. See how the little girl is giving her all to pick it up? Looks like it's pretty high on steroids. <coughs> 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 
threatening elephant. The purpose of this is, is uh, we are trying to mitigate human wildlife conflicts. Elephants are considered gentle giants of the wild, but the residents of Kenya's Erie County beg to differ. This happened when a clash brewed between farmers and elephants. With over 32,000 elephants roaming, farmers felt their livelihoods threatened, crops were trampled, and lives were lost to elephant encounters. The conflict stemmed from a booming elephant population caused by an ivory sales ban in 1989, and everyone felt challenged to find a balance between elephant conservation and human safety. So to tackle the issue, wildlife authorities stepped in and relocated 30 elephants to a national park. And Kenyan farmers aren't the only ones whose crops suffered from elephants running wild. Here are residents of Assam, India, facing the same problem. For over a decade, farmers residing in Assam had grappled with recurring encounters with migrating elephants. And here, people decided to take matters into their own hands and began employing lemon trees as a means to deter the elephants. The lemon trees served a dual purpose. Their sharp thorns acted as natural barriers, impeding the elephants' progress, while the fruits themselves added to the farmers' earnings. This approach also proved to be a sustainable solution for conservation concerns. Mysterious Safe a large safe discovered in a field is fueling curiosity about what is possibly inside. Kirk Mathis, a farmer in Orleans County, New York, was going about his daily tasks in the fields when his routine was interrupted by the sight of a massive metal box nestled among the crops. Intrigued, he decided to inspect it and realized that it's a hefty safe weighing over 500 pounds. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I'm thinking five, 600 pounds at least. Its presence raised countless questions. Why was it dumped here? And what secrets did it hold? And what really made it mysterious was that a note was attached to the safe, saying whoever can crack it open can claim its contents. But Mathis hesitated and turned the safe to a museum, where curious onlookers speculate about its contents. Croatian Goat In 2014, something really strange happened on a farm in Croatia. A baby goat was born with eight legs, along with both male and female organs. It might sound like a joke, but it's true. This goat was super unique because its body formed in a really unusual way before it was born. Sometimes, when baby goat eggs don't grow properly, they might stick together inside the mother's belly. That's what happened here and the result was this special-looking goat. The farm owner seemed to tend to the special needs of the calf. It's amazing how nature can be full of surprises, even if they're a little bit strange. This picture uploaded on Reddit recently has been going viral, and it's left everyone stumped. Supposedly, a guy caught this strange thing in his garden with its giant head and tentacle-like limbs. It seemed to be a mix of cryptid and alien. This stubby creature caused a series of speculations where some dismissed it as a mandrake root, which is known to have humanoid features. And due to the absence of any video or true evidence, many thought that it was an AI-generated picture. But uncertainty grew as the Reddit user mysteriously deleted the post and their account altogether. Now, why would anyone delete it if it was just a random thing in their garden? A conspiracy theory has it that the government has confiscated the entity and made the uploader deleted from the platform. Real or not, these pictures have caused quite a buzz. Thank you very much for watching the video. Share in the comments and do like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.